Oh, here in Kiss. Jackie Adam Lambert's here. Is a ghost town. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we know all the songs, and there's many, many great songs from Adam Lambert. He's on the air this morning, because obviously we all know, duh, he's here for X Factor, Sunday night, 7 o'clock, Channel 7. How are you going uh, with that, Adam? Hey, buddy. Oh, Welcome my God, I love in. it. I'm having Do so much fun. You're really good on there. I'm oh, not thanks. that I'm surprised at all, but you are. You're definitely a, you know, great, thanks. great Thank judge. You. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun doing the mentoring, too. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. let's face it, the mentoring is bullshit. No, I like the mentoring. Yeah, yeah. but you're not really doing it. Like, no, I, I think some of the other that. judges maybe it's bullshit for them. When I was <laughs> a judge on that, let me tell you, when I was on there, right, I was the first judge to say this mentoring is bullshit and I got a team of people together and I got a team of people working with them because they were just pretending for TV. That well, I was not me. I'm, I'm definitely, and you can ask the producers. I've been writing emails like going, no, I want this song for Isaiah. Yes. Oh, you're you're one, oh, I'm you're all over it. I get oh, invested. I like good. Yeah. these two kids. They're teenagers and they're so good and I'm just trying to like yeah. get them right to their best. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. They're how, so good. How about the other judges? What are they like? I love my other judges. I get along very well with them. But yeah. I do think some of them might be less invested in the mentoring than others. Mm. So. Which ones? Which I'm ones? I'm going to take the fifth on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, when Guy was you can in take here, a guess. Guy told us that uh, Iggy's been turning up late on set. She can't do that now because it's live shows. So I'm sure right. I'm certain that problem has ironed itself out. Right. But the mentoring is not live. So <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so, so they, might, they might get a call from Iggy every now and then? Or what's the go there? I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on with her world ex- ever, actually. Really. Yeah. Well, she she's apparently staying a street away from me, and I haven't really? seen her around yet. Well, yeah. Maybe what, she's got what a good disguise. Going, what do you think she's going to do? Ride a bicycle around the suburb, Jackie? <laughs> Usually, she, she might. I mean, the thing about Iggy, I gotta say, is you never know what you're going to get with her. She's very unpredictable. Yeah. Is she? I love yeah. her though. Yeah. Don't you love her? Like, I get along. Is. I get along really well with her. I really do. Yeah. I really do. What I about think Mel B? Do you like her as I well? Love Mel B. I love Mel B. Good. Mel B. Mel B. Tell Jackie. Go on, Jackie. Tell him that she showed up at your place on Halloween yeah, dressed she as came, a zombie. Yeah, just before the live show on Monday. She, she came, came by around with the kids? She treating with the Aww. kids. She's so cute. I love She's, her. Her little kids are adorable. Oh too. my God, they're amazing. Did you see them dance on the show? No. They no, danced for that. one of the girl groups last week. Oh, they really? They did a Miss whip that? my hair back and forth oh. thing. Yeah, those were her, those were her two they're girls. They're the best. Yeah. So did she yeah. force them on there? Did she go, look, if my kids aren't going to be on the television, I'm out. I'm going to quit. I I don't I don't know I was not privy to her business dealings I'm not sure. <laughs> and Adam, you've been tweeting about Westworld. I haven't seen it yet, but everyone's oh, talking so, about it. So smart, is it's it? So is it intelligent, yeah. What's it like, about? I, it, and it's hard to put it in a nutshell. I mean, it's sort of like artificial intelligence theme park. For like you know, rich people, rich people to have like a weird life experience thing. But it there's so many like undertones. Can you about, have sex with the robot? Yeah. Oh yeah. Full on. It's oh, like debauchery. And then, can, and then then can you kill them? Yeah, you can kill yeah. them. You can have sex with them, and, and they I'm recycle in. them like every day. They're on like a loop, and so they go back into their program. Do, but it's, are they? Do they look like robots or real people? They look, it's real people playing them. Yeah, right. So it's like, like you know, years in the future where if we could create. Yeah, hang on, Jackie. Oh, did you so think it was going to be like you'd be having sex with like the robot from Lost in Space? That would be so. <laughs> that would be the refrigerator. And, and let me tell you, it wouldn't be cool. That wouldn't be nice. Who wants to do that? That's no a really one. interesting concept, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, well, it's good because they start kind of in a very sophisticated way. Start like talking about basically. How we are with technology, how it's taking over, about religion, control, power. Like, there's all these undertones to it that are really intelligent. Yeah. Did it. you watch Stranger Things? Yes. I feel I like you would have liked I that show, it. too. I loved it. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't watched that yet, have you, Carl? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> He's poor. Uh, you know how I watch everything? I watch everything, like, in 10-minute intervals and then doze off. Yeah. <laughs> So and then I wake up, and I, you know, I usually wake up and go, don't turn the TV off, I'm watching that. And he says, that finished two hours ago, babe. I'm like, oh, okay, forget it. Yeah, I've all been there. Why are you always falling asleep on the couch, can I ask? I don't know, it must be out of my mind. <laughs> you know, it's very stressful doing this show. Yeah, I bet. All the way from L.A., yeah? Yeah, oh, oh. yeah, well, you know what, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so intense. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Adam. Your life's so um, hard. Yeah. I know you're a uh, proud gay man. I'm very I proud. To show, I wanted to show you um, some <clears throat> chick that has uh, popped up on the radar here because we know how we have our race days. Okay, yeah. Australia, the Melbourne Carp, yes, Derby Day, speed, yeah. Oaks Day. Yeah. Well, they've got this chick here that we're on the search for. We call her Cotton Candy Girl. Show the photo. How hot she? She's got a nice rack. Yeah, yeah nice the boobies. Rack. Cotton candy hanging out of the mouth. Selena Gomez. So she when was like a, this cotton candy situation? Yesterday. Yesterday. Ladies she, uh, Listen. How hot is she? 
I mean, I think she's kind of one of those girls where she can do whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. But do you yes, think, because Carl wants to get It doesn't her. really matter what she's doing with the cotton candy. Are you looking no. at the cotton candy? Uh, yeah, when well, you look at this picture? I'm else. looking at the overall photo, and I'm saying the guys in the LA studio here, they've, they've lost their shit over her. The the Sydney studio, the guys, are, they're lining up. They're all gathered around looking. They're wondering what her name is. And I said, Let, let's let's find this girl. Dude, let's but find can out I what just her story ask, is. I, I just want to know. If it weren't for the cotton candy, would she be getting this attention? What is it about this girl that stop is being spreading? jealous, Jack? It's because she. It's because that hot girl is being a slob with the cotton candy. But yeah, she's so right. hot that you kind of go like, uh, uh, you uh. could do. And you know what? Even I can recognize that she's hot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's. That's saying something, you know. Where's I'm our resident gay? Where's our resident yeah. gay? Enjoying look, it, mm. Brooklyn. Have you seen yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. we've got to get our resident gay to look at it because he's um, he's he's been both. He's I been find, straight. And yeah, gay. yeah, yeah. I guess she's hot, but I find it really creepy. You trying to search for her now? Because she's yeah. not. I'm not fam- searching for she's her. She's not I'm famous not, or anything. That's what I mean. It's just a photo of a girl. That's what I said. Who I took said, the picture. <laughs> just photographers the Daily take Mail pictures. They take pictures of girls at race days to get messy shots of women, and then they. Hey, hey, hey! And you know what, Brooklyn? You know what, actually, you know, I mean, just on an ethical kind of thing, that's mm, kind of yeah. not fair. That, that's yeah. what I think. I think it's not fair they do that. They find women who are so off their face and drunk and, you know, <laughs> vomiting into their handbags and they take photos of that's them. That's not and very fair. Kind of I, I thought and she was a celebrity them. or something. You guys oh. seem shocked that the paparazzi would be out doing unethical things. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, you know, the whole, the, the public always goes, oh, well, if you're famous, you know, it comes with the territory. Yeah. So, like, yeah. we all kind of sign up for fame. We, no one signs yeah. up for it, but yeah. we all know that that's part of it but this yeah. this girl's just walking in a cute blue dress do you hey. think it's warranted that Carl's trying to track her down and get her on the show but you're a little creepy yeah. <laughs> no it's <laughs> not creepy, creepy. It's not creepy. Guys want to know her name. Guys, like, it's not, this whole show's not just for mums, soccer mums, and, uh, and, and people who like pop music. But should is we be anybody? asking her if, if it's okay? Like, no. She, no. How do we, sure how do she we loves ask, it, poppycock. really. How do we ask her if it's okay unless we get her on the air? And that's the first thing I'll ask you. Is it okay that we've tracked you down? <laughs> number two. Number two. What's your name? Where do you live? Give us your address. No, no, no. How no, was no, that cotton bad. candy? Mm. <laughs> Looks real good. Adam, I know you've yeah. got to get out of here. Uh, X Factor Sunday night, 7 o'clock on Channel 7. Where's he going to go? Where am I going? He's got a million <laughs> no. interviews to Yeah, but I want to hang out with you guys longer. Yeah, I know. I, know. I like I it here. It's all fun here. You got, yeah, wait, be... you guys have to... Tu- these these kids are getting so good. The, okay, the who, 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 who are you They're yeah. heating up. They're just getting better and better and better and better. Do you remember the Isaiah names? and Amalia are my two contestants, and they're I'm 15 impressed. and 16 years old. So good. And they're when mad I was doing talented. It, I didn't even know my, my guys' names when I did it. See, see now who is... Who is the good mentor now? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll look, all so, I'm saying so is that I BS. thought... I thought that the people in the other team were better, and then I dared say it on the show. I was like, I think this guy's better, and then the producers flipped out. <laughs> they were like, you've got to pretend your own team's better. But that's better. true. Like, pretend. No, what are you talking about? You're right, though. I remember who you were talking. It was Altian, and you were Altian like, I actually Childs. don't think I've got a winner, and I think Altian's going to win. Yeah, Altian Childs is the yeah. best thing that never made it out of X Factor. <laughs> and yes, he used to hide in a cave, and he had some like, heroin problems or some shit that was going on. <laughs> but, and everyone was like, oh, he's behaving unruly. I was like, that's what a freaking rock star does, you losers. Yes, I heard about that's this what guy, actually. Did He's you? legendary, yeah, because yeah, I He's heard legendary. stories. Did you? Yeah, yeah, a guy was telling me about him. So. Let's go. Now, you know what, Adam? Before you leave, when X-Fact is finished, you and I, let's go around and let's find him in the cave and let's <laughs> resurge his career. The guy's got a voice, man. He's very talented. a rock star, let yeah, me he tell was, you. He's he awesome. Should we put him in a rehab? Should we get him cleaned yeah, up? No, <laughs> I, like him, I like him a bit dirty. Look what happened to Keith Urban once they rehabbed him. He's got his eyebrows blocked and he's all good. <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's keep them rough. <laughs> yeah. You guys, rather, tune, you guys I, have to tune uh, into X Factor. I'm telling you, it's so good. Yeah, we will. You guys be. see what I'm wearing this week? What are you going to wear? Oh, oh That's you're a surprise. always great. You're always on point with the outfit. It's a, yeah, I, I like to. I like a look. You know? Yeah. Did you see you my? Did you see my performance last weekend? Yeah, with the eyes. Nah. Yeah, did you context? see my eyes? Yeah. Oh, my the horror eyes. Yeah. I know. You could couldn't you see. see through those? Did it creep me out? Did, did no, creep, it was good, though. Did it, cre- it creep me it. out? Did it yeah. creep you out? Not really. I thought it was no. hot. You did, oh, you liked it? <laughs> yeah. It got you going? You know, oh. you know Brooklyn, Brooklyn in the newsroom, he took a screenshot of it and yeah. uh, it's laminated in his bathroom. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Spank, yeah, bang. I hope that's okay, Adam. <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm really flattered. As long as it's laminated so you can wipe it down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Reuse. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's early for that type of thing. X Factor, oh. Sunday night, Adam Lambert. Check him out. Channel 7, 7 o'clock. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, guys. Bye, man. We'll Ta-da. take your calls next for Snapchat.